team coverage continues right now as all of this rain comes down. Some spots are still dealing with the aftermath of Tropical Storm Henri, which is just less than two weeks ago. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shante Passmore is live tonight in East Hartford. And Shante, how is it looking there? Aaron, you know, it is deja vu for the families living here on Preston Street tonight. Many are waiting and watching for the Huckenham River to rise. And the town says it's not a matter of if, but when. And it could flood some of the homes behind me. Earlier, we spoke to a neighbor who has been checking the river very often, just in case he may need to warn his neighbors. And we've seen the town hand out sandbags to people living here as well. But it's not just in East Hartford where people will see flashbacks of another storm. In Manchester, we saw it was still dealing with the cleanup and repairs from Tropical Storm Henri. At Charter Oak Park, you can still see some damage left behind in the baseball fields. And in Hartford, the mayor is warning people to move their cars if they live in a flood-prone area. It's opening some blue light lots around the city for people to move their cars to higher ground there. With Ida, it's back-to-back -back storms we're talking about, and the rainfall is hitting an already saturated ground, causing problems. What happens is the water just kind of bubbles up on the lawns and then runs off onto the sidewalks, which then flow into the streets. So that's that's a real concern is just having these storms over and over again. Uh, it's very taxing on the system and obviously taxing on our uh, our ability to keep up with it. And back here in East Hartford, the town is urging people to be safe if they see any flooding. And that would mean not driving over any standing water. Live in East Hartford tonight, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Shante, thank you very much. Also right now.